Hey guys and welcome to another feature video. Today I want to show you our new template part node and what its functionality is and how you can use it in the end in your scene. So let's start with the properties of our template part. Basically you will need the data property where you can enter the data of the template part that you want to use and the both methods queue and take. So when you enter a data by now you will automatically queue and take the whole template into the scene but you can change this by changing the automatic enumeration to manual for example and then you will have to manually queue and take the whole template. So the other properties are just properties like uh, um, affecting the animation of the jump in animation and jump out animation so when you check this boolean there won't be any an animation when you take the template or take it out with the jump out yeah, this is basically it now we will see how to use the whole template part node in your scene this is a simple bar chart template you can take the animation in i built it just before you can take any other template as well of course and it will just scale up and scale down when you activate or deactivate it. So how to access the data of our bar chart template by now so that we can use it in our template pod node. This is very simple. You will only have to click this little arrow down here and you will see this little window. So as soon as you copy the whole thing into your clipboard and enter it into your data properties you can see that when you queue and take the whole template, it will appear in our new scene. So this is basically it about the template part node. Now we will have to look at how to insert different values and make the values accessible for the scene. So all we have to do is to not write the data directly into the template part node, but into another node that will convert six values into the text that we have here. So we could take a convert to text node and again copy the whole data of our template and paste it into the format string of our to text node. So now we have our six values here. This is a simple container with six variables. Now we can connect the values of our to text node to the, our source values and we must tweak the text a little bit. So first let's just bind the data property of our template part node to the convert to text node and now we will see what we have to do so that the data will be interpreted correctly. So the first thing we will have to do is to change those constant values into the input values of our convert to text node. And the last thing we will need to do, and that's all, is to duplicate all those curly brackets that are not associated with one of the input values. So now you can change some of the values and you can see that our template will change accordingly. But you don't have to use templates that you created before, you can simply Instead, use assets that you can load into the template part as your data. And we will use an internal asset host scene that will load the asset into the known template and display it on the scene. So when you use an URL node and type in a path to an asset of yours, you can simply bind the data property of our template part to the URL node to find the according asset. Assets can be everything from images to textures, movies, pages, scenes, sounds, or even live videos. So this is about it, about the template part. I hope you enjoyed it and know how to use the template part. And I hope I will see you next time. Until then, bye.